Um, so continuing on, hopefully this lines up nicely. Um, so reproduction, I, I know we talked about it for a second. It's mostly asexual. Um, some bacteria do sexual reproduction. It's very rare. Uh, they have to be close proximity. And if they don't have flagella, they can't really swim over to find a mate. Um, so we're not going to talk about that too much other than it has two parents. And what they're going to do is they're actually going to trade DNA. They're going to say, hey, try this DNA out. It has a cool mutation, um, and I'll take yours for a little bit. Uh, asexual reproduction is what's more important. That's the one we're going to highlight for you guys. Remember, this involves one single parent, and it's called binary fission. That prefix bi means two. So one cell is going to divide into two new cells. Here's that picture again, just to reiterate. You're starting with one and you're ripping yourself smack dab in half. So now you got a brand new twin um, baby brother or baby sister. Some bacteria can cause bacterial infections. We've sort of been talking about that. We talk about strep throat is a bacterial infections. Antibiotics are going to help you out. Remember that B, biotics work on bacteria. Uh, they are chemicals that are going to be used to kill bacteria that causes a disease. Um, so sometimes bacterial infections, absolutely, they need antibiotics. You're not going to get better too quick unless you have them. Um, but just as you get older and you start to go to the doc doctor, just be cautious. When you take an antibiotic, you're killing all or most of the bacteria in your body. That includes the good stuff in your gut. Um, so when you take them, you're actually kind of killing some good stuff in yourself as well. And absolutely, if you need them, you have to take them. But just put a little tiny bit of caution when you're taking them, okay? Um, and make sure you take them all. Even if you start to feel better halfway through, it doesn't matter. You have to take every single pill in that jar or you're going to create what's called super bugs, and, and that's no good. Um, so look away if you don't want to see these pictures. I just thought it was kind of cool to throw in some gross stuff. Um, so this first one, three, two, one. And what you're seeing is a bacterial infection infection in someone's foot. You can see it's kind of gross looking. Okay, I won't describe it for those of you looking away. All right, keep looking away. Keep looking away. Um, so this is also going to be a bacterial infections. Uh, this one's in your brain. So this guy, we're looking at the top of his head. You see this green stuff growing on his brain? Yeah, that's not good. You're not supposed to have bacteria in your brain. Um, so if you looked away, you can come back. Open your eyes back up. No more gross stuff today anyway. Okay. So bacteria are good sometimes. Okay, so they're good in your gut and they're good in some food industries. So fuel and food production, they can be used in cleanup and medicines. Um, so we can actually use them for some good stuff. Uh, if you've ever heard of a oil spill um, that happens from time to time, we're actually kind of training or mutating bacteria to eat the oil. So if a big old oil rig explodes and there's oil over there, well, we'll just go dump a bunch of bacteria in the water, they'll eat it up, and then when there's no more oil, they'll die, and it's perfect. Um, food production, we use it in a lot of stuff. Anything that is fermented, beer is fermented, cheese is fermented, uh, bread is fermented sometimes. Uh, maybe not with bacteria, but with other stuff. Um, there's all kinds of different places that we're actually going to use bacteria, and that's totally good. They're edible bacteria. Um, so cheese fact number six, I don't know what the first five were, but cheese, Swiss cheese has holes because of bacteria farts. So next time you're eating a big old slice of Swiss cheese and you poke your finger through it, just remember, that's where a bacteria farted. Um, this picture over here, this is the guy I was talking about eating the oil. So you can see on the inside he's starting to turn black. That's because he's eating the oil that is around him. Um, and then down here is showing the complicated process of how they actually mutate bacteria um, to so that we can use them for good things. Uh, so that's it. Um, so hopefully you took those notes and you understood what's going on. Um, go ahead back to Google Classroom and figure out what you need to do next or look at the front board and figure out what you need to do next.